Okay, guys, this is um, part two of the painting my garbage can. Um, I went ahead off camera and put an, another coat, just base coat, over the sandy area, the green, and the flowers. I mean, because that, that's kind of like what I did in the beginning, but I just didn't want to bore you with that. And I wanted to go ahead and let it have time to dry. So now I think we're ready to do put in our details. So now I'm going to use probably this brush for a little while. Oh wait, no, let's do this one. Let's do our our sand. I want to do that. Can you guys see my sandy area? Let's move you. Hold on, we're going to move just a little. Okay, I just want you to be able to see right here what I'm doing. Now I'm using my little funky brush. Can you see? I'm trying to hold it up. See, it's just spread out it's just an old brush like that that i let i didn't let it dried like that so it makes fun little prints so i'm gonna put a little i still have my, all my browns down in the bottom so now we're gonna we're gonna and i've just got them all mixed let me show you I just got them all mixed right here and I'm just going to be dabbing in different ones, maybe a little black like that just to get some different and we're just going to do this all over just like that for a sandy effect and you don't want to get too much black, you just want enough to give it A little bit of something and you can tell when you don't want to go over it too too much because it'll start looking like mud you know it'll start so you just want to speckle it up good and you kind of want to keep dipping in the same color scheme you know a little bit of the same one so you don't get and if you get too much on your your brush of like maybe not the color you wanted just dab it around everywhere until it it comes you know comes back down a little because you know It's not perfect, and it does not take much black, let me tell you. Just a barely. I hope this looks like a sandy area. And if you dab in your black too much, It's gray, so I got a little bit much on there, so I'm just going to spread it all around. To me, this is the fun part of the anything you paint is in your detail. Just want to give it a little speckled look. I think I about got this side good. That's turning out kind of cute. It reminds me of that speckle paint you get. You know, you used to. I used to buy that and spray my flower pots and things make them look stony textured 
Just going to give it a little texture. I think that looks like sand. We did a great job on that. Some lighter colored. Let's see what this does. It's kind of starting to all look the same. I love this area. This is my favorite because it's the black is really more on top in a few places than underneath all my dabs. See, those are a little more, might go back and just hit some of them around. Okay, Delinda, stop touching it. All right, there's our sand. Now for our cactus. I put a good coat of yellow on them, and, and that's that's probably oh, my brush is gonna be it for that. Let me look at something real quick. So I have this picture that I painted a while back. And I'm, I'm going to sit it up here where I can kind of look at how I did some of that stuff because I kind of forgot. You can do cactus really several different ways. And I could have put another one of those tall ones, but I didn't. Um, okay, I think I have a plan. I'm going to get out a bunch of yellow. Now, I think this is going to be. It might be okay. Okay, I'm just taking the the end of my paintbrush. And I'm just going to put some little dots around in different places. And then I'm going to go back and do my little prickly splinter things from these. And see how that looks. That one, I just did the dots and I didn't do anything, but I'm gonna on this one. Let's see. I gotta put some on the edges too. Now you can get carried away with these dots if you're not careful. But they're fun. I love dots. Alright, let's go up here and get one right there. my phone on airplane mode. Oh! I 
That was big old dots. Uh, I have my phone on airplane mode, and so now my my watch is blowing up. What's up with that? My son texted me in the uh, our earlier video. Mom. Mom. I know you're not doing nothing. Why do they think we're not ever doing anything? I mean, ugh. just crazy. We are dotting up these cactus. I need to quit trying to be perfect. Get them on there. See, they go just as good when I move fast. There's even two close together. the little things out from them. You're not even really going to see this. Actually, I guess this is kind of just maybe marking my spots for me where I'm going to put them. Who knows? Last one. Okay. Now, we're going to take this little bitty brush right here. And you see, it's a little fine one. And... I think I'm going to mix me up some white. This stuff is drying up so fast. Okay, I'm, I'm mixing up some white, kind of some, not really watery white, but... I really wish my paint would be keep stopping up. But it happens. Yeah, I'm not sure. Got a paint goober hung in it. You know, if it's not your glue stopping up, it's your paint. Okay, anyways, I think I've got enough out. So I'm mixing a little bit of water with it just to give it an ink consistency. And I do that I do that where 
you see my hand? Where it will flow like ink and keep on going for a long time. Now, if you just did your regular paint, it would only go so far and, you know, be jagged. But by putting a little bit of water in it, it, it helps it to flow. So practice with that. It works great with black too, if you're outlining. So let's see how this goes. So I'm just gonna touch like that, touch in my yellow dot and swoop out. And I'm gonna go all directions. Touching my dot and you're just making a little sticker. dipping in the wrong spot and it also will, will make your your little mark that you're doing splotchy it won't be smooth and flowy Sometimes I like long ones. They look more. Mine don't. My my cactus like this don't. It it has these spots, but it only has like it has like where this is coming out. It has a bunch of them, and they're real short. So I don't. Oh, that was a good one. So see how that just kind of makes that look like okay, just all those little sticky things coming out. You might have to keep um, doctoring your white because it, it dries pretty fast with that water in it. We're getting us a little cactus going on here. Okay, I should start up here. And sometimes my brush doesn't work like I really want it to. See, I feel like my white is drying up. Get a little more water. So my daughter's texting, please don't forget me. Please don't forget to pick me up. Like, why does that thought, oh, I was up here, ever even cross her mind that I would forget to pick her up from the airport?
and some of them, some of your little swoops will just go so great. Look cute. See, like those are cute. You have to be careful and not stick your finger in your dots. Where are we going? Isn't it amazing how just a few little things can change the whole look of something? So this is for sure my favorite part, the details. Because that kind of is the finishing. Woo! That was a big old splinter. Okay, I gotta get back up here again. I hope I don't get any guys. you guys will get excited about this and go paint you a garbage can now you you absolutely don't have to paint a can this big you could get a little small can and paint some cute flowers or something on it for your bathroom or your laundry room Okay, we're we're rocking along. Let's see, we got one more here. Then we'll just have to do our flower detail. I'll have to go and get me some clear spray because I will for sure want to put a good coat of like some clear spray paint over this because it's going to be on my patio out back. And I mean it's covered but I want to make sure that you know, if it ever has to be wiped off or I don't I don't want it to scratch off. So I have to put a good coat. I like to go out with the ones that are on the edge. <laughs> that makes it really look prickly. That looks awful. Don't touch me, I will stick you. All right, just this little area. We can be done. Now I could have done these in yellow, but I thought we had enough yellow.
see those dots don't matter at all what they look like because you really can't hardly see them. You know, we didn't get any on the side over here of this big one, so I'm just gonna put a couple out there, like maybe they're coming from the back side. We're almost done with this. This part of it, anyway. See, I'm, I'm getting to do a lot of spikes with that paint watered down like that. Okay. That's what we have so far. Now, all we need to do is a little bit of work on our flowers. So, I'm going to tilt you. Everybody, hold on. that that a little better now you can see okay I think I'm gonna start with this one right here and I probably won't do a whole lot I will probably come in here with a little bit of green because you know it had had a little bit of um you know, the leaves underneath from where it was a bud. So I'm just kind of doing it like that. On each one. And it doesn't have to be a lot. You know, we might could put a little more on this one because it looks like a baby. Like it's not quite ready yet. I think I'll go up a little more on these too. See how that green is not even showing up on that black. You know, really, on flowers, any old way you want to squiggle your lines, because no flower is the same, and no flower is perfect. Okay, let's get back here on this one. Give you a little something. This one over here. All right, let's see what we can do now. I 
I kind of want to find, let me see if I can get a little orange. I don't think they have like a lot, but just maybe a tiny speck of a little bit of another color in to the top of them. See what we can get here. Mix us a, I'm mixing a little bit of orange with some of my yellow that I had just to give it just a little bit of I'm just putting that around on the top just so it's not all like one color because then it looks like it doesn't have any kind of dimension to it. Just a little over here. I think this is going to be cute, guys. That one really doesn't have as much color as I'd like for it to have. I'd like for it to be more solid, but it'll be okay. And I'm just, you know, just kind of putting this up there, not really any kind of, did I not put any on that one? You know, it's just a little bit of a darker yellow than than what what's on there. Okay, now, what else do we wanna do? I think I'm gonna go in with some dots. I love my dots. So I'm going to dip the tip of my brush in my white. and just hit some dots here and there. Give them a little whimsical look, I guess, instead of not so Okay, let me I forgot to back you guys out. I'm sorry. Hold on. Well, them some big old dots. And that's all I'm doing, guys, is just putting a few little three dots around. Just for fun. Just a little fun. Okay, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm done. 
kind of think that I'm, I, I really need to do a little bit of shading, I feel like. Let me show you what I mean. Like right here. I hope you can see that. Just want to make it look like that's where it's connected. Guys, don't remember, I'm not, I mean, don't forget, I'm not an artist, nor do I play one on TV. I just like to paint, that's all. Okay, let's see what we can do right here. It doesn't have to be much for the shadow. It just gives it a little bit Oops, one more. Family's blowing me up on my watch over here. Oh, here's one we forgot. And I don't hardly have anything on my brush. It's kind of watered down green, so that's just going to make a like a little shadow. It's kind of hard for me to see at this angle. Let's put a little bit of dark underneath that, just a little, because they're up on there, so that's a little shadow under there. Is I looking okay? I think that's gonna work for us, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I, I might go back and put some more dots or some little something somewhere that I'm probably gonna see that I missed. But for the most part, this is it, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I guess I'll just see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.